the uh, news night gig. That was that was the break. You know, that was 2007. I was working here actually, working on the uh, 10 to 12 slot, the nightly debate. Um, I got a phone call from Robert Petson, who, well, we all know now as the BBC business editor. I couldn't believe it because I know Robert. You know, I've heard of Robert and I've read his stuff. And, yeah, big fan, big fan. And um, he said, um, "Would you like to work up in Newsline?" I couldn't believe it. I thought, you know, this is this is the big time. So uh, I was there for a couple of months, sort of working behind the scenes, and I mean. It was it was brilliant. I mean, it was everything. It was working with like-minded people. And no offence to these guys here, but they're not like-minded. I'm a different level of intelligence, and that's not me being cocky. It's just me being honest, you know. With Newsnight, I was feeling like I was around people I know. Thank you very much for the call, Pamela. Call again. Thank you very much. Okay, I'm gonna, as promised, I'm going to read a little article I found in the Guardian earlier, which was actually about burglary. Um, it amused me greatly because it's just the the sheer stupidity of the Metropolitan Police nowadays. Um, I'm going to read it here. It's a uh, burglar praised for confessing to 437 raids. I mean, Jesus Christ. There we go. A burglar serving a six years for 311 raids was praised by prison authorities yesterday for owning up to a further 126 crimes. Darren Scolding, 31, who was jailed in April, confessed to a string of break-ins stretching back a decade. Officers told the Gloucester Crown Court they were impressed by how helpful Sconing was, and he was helping clear up all their old crimes. Sunday was, actually, 24th June 2007. I'll never remember that. I'll never remember that forever. I was about to present my first slot on Newsnight. It was only a two minute piece, but you know, it, it, it was a start. And um, just before the show started, uh, Gavin Esler was backstage with Paxman and um, just heard, breaking story just came in, that uh, Tony Blair has just handed over the Labour Party to Gordon Brown. He's just stepped down as Prime Minister. They had to break it. They had to. The whole programme was about that. They had to cancel my slot. That's fair enough. Tony Blair, it was a big story. It's a big story. But, you know, when you prepared for several weeks on that, it was a bit disappointing. The, fir the, the, the first thing, the first thing I could just feel was anger. So, I'm actually shaking finger about it. I'm actually. So I, so I just grabbed the nearest thing near to me. It was just this swivel chair, black swivel level level chair, leather chair, and I just, I just, I just shook it, shook it, and then I, I just walked out. I walked out the room. I walked out the room, and seconds later, Paxman was on air. He was sat in the swivel chair on news night, breaking news, 10 o'clock at night, BBC2, an audience of, a core audience of three to four million. Jeremy Paxman announcing the resignation of our Prime Minister was just a floating head. Paxman was a floating head. You couldn't see his mouth. He was trying to, he was trying to keep it together. He's a professional. He's a lovely fellow. And um, he couldn't. He, he couldn't. He was just sat there, and everyone was panicking. Paxman carried on. It was a bit spooky. You just saw his forehead, and, and just words coming from the heavens, essentially. I was obviously sacked. Obviously, not allowed back. Okay, you are you there? No. You break. You're breaking up. <coughs> Gone again. Go. Fed up with it. I'm, you know. I'm, 
I, can't, I can't actually contain myself now. I'm actually fed up with you people calling. Can you just stop doing it? I was, um, off the TV gig, actually, quite recently. Channel 5. To be the ro roving showbiz reporter for Channel 5 News. They uh, sat me down in this room, actually, so no. Quite a big office, quite light, sat down. And the first thing, you know the first thing they said to me? You could be the new Keith Chegwin. I walked out. I'm, <laughs> I'm not having that. I am not that low. I'm not sinking to those levels. I'm not going on GMTV at 6 in the morning, knocking on people's doors, telling them they won 50 pounds. I'm university educated. Don't forget that. Really angers me, really actually angers me. Have some efforts. I'm too I'm too good for this job. I'm just better than this.